Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Diane make videos from time to time. Today I am going to be trying on or showing you guys a lot of bridal outfits aka like white dresses um, that I wore or that I got that I bought for my bridal celebrations. Did I get too many dresses? Yes. Did I get to wear all the dresses? Not all of them. Do I regret them? No! I love a good dress. As you guys may or may not know, I got married this past August, so all of my bridal celebrations are done. I thought it would be so much fun to go through my closet and show you guys all my outfits. I am not sponsored by any of these uh, like places that I did buy the dresses from. I did buy them all with my own money. But uh, before we get into it and I show you plethora of dresses that I own. I did want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. If you click this video because you are a bride yourself or you have bridal celebrations coming up, if you're celebrating and you're looking for really beautiful dainty pieces to help celebrate your events with, there's a ton of really new beautiful pieces at Ana Luisa. I'm wearing a few of them right now. This is the um, tennis bracelet that I showed you guys in my last video if you watched it, but these two new pieces are so beautiful. They're so dainty and they pair perfectly with any beautiful little white dress. So if you're looking for any beautiful, dainty, girly pieces that you want to piece together with your bridal outfits or if you want to give them to your bridesmaids, which is what I did for my wedding, I gifted them all um, a pair of earrings, which they still wear to this day. If you guys have never heard of Ana Luisa before, I talk about them all the time. They're super great quality. Pretty much my entire jewelry collection is just Ana Luisa pieces. It is sustainable and they have pieces just starting out at like $39. So there's a price point for everybody. There's really beautiful pieces for everybody. I wish I had my package. I also placed an order for two more pieces for a gift for my mom and my best friend. It's not here yet though, so I can't show it to you, but I am so excited to even just gift them for Christmas, which is coming up. So if you guys want to shop, I do have a discount code. Uh, I think it's Diane 20. I'm gonna put it on the screen and in the box below. You can click the link in the description box to shop. And I know that uh, no matter who you are or who you're looking for, you'll definitely be able to find something on the website for them or yourself. Happy shopping. <laughs> okay, let's get back into the video. I'm gonna start with this one just because it is actually not a white dress. So let's get it over with to begin with. This is a dress that I purchased from a boutique. It's a Canadian one, so if you're a Canadian girl, I loved ordering my dresses from this boutique. I think it's called 18... I always get it mixed up. I don't know the numbers. Let me check it for you. Hold on. That's a random number. How am I supposed to remember that? I got a bunch of dresses from this boutique. My bridesmaid dresses are from this boutique as well. And I highly recommend if you are looking for bridesmaid dresses to get them from here. If you don't care about like trying stuff on or anything, if you're a Canadian girl, cause shipping was like free, I'm pretty sure. And it came really fast. I actually have, uh, I don't know if you can see, I have one of their dresses here because one of my bridesmaids actually moved to Hong Kong and couldn't make it to the wedding but I have her dress there and I'll put it on the screen um, if you guys want to see but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about this little number I wore her for my bachelorette party it's a cute little mini skirt but it's giving like ballerina I really liked this dress however I will say there's glitter everywhere just everywhere. So be warned, I love me some gold. It's got like gold sparkles. The underneath is like white tulle. I actually could rewear this if I really wanted to because it's not white. I could rewear this to somebody else's wedding if I get their approval. So this next dress I actually bought from Shein. Shein? I don't know how do you say it. If you guys know me or like know my personality, know my aesthetic, I'm very like, I really like princess core stuff. I like princessy girly things. My thing with these is like I really wanted to wear like long dresses because c'est la vie. Like when am I gonna wear another long dress except for every other wedding that I go to. But anyway, I got this long dress. I don't think it was supposed to be that long as per the Shein website, but I am five feet tall so it was long for me. It has like a little ruched front moment um, and this was very affordable I want to say. My gold sparkly dress, I don't even remember how much it was. I think maybe a hundred dollars or less. 
This dress, I want to say, if I can find the links for everything, I'll put them in the description. So I don't know if they'll still be available, but I'll kind of try and see what I can find for you. Again, this one was like pretty inexpensive. I believe it was like under 30 Canadian dollars. Actually, the quality is quite nice. Surprisingly, you would think for Shein, right? And I don't really purchase a lot from Shein to begin with. This is like double lined, so it didn't show any any of the goods in the back. So honestly, I was very impressed with this dress. The only thing is that um, the little armholes, suffocating. They are so small. And I, I didn't think I had big beefy arms, but like this dress made me a little bit feel like I had big beefy arms, but it looked cute, it looked great, but it was cutting off my circulation. I would give this dress like a good seven out of 10. This next dress I got several years ago several and I don't even know like I know I filmed a YouTube video about it when I got it because this was through a sponsorship I picked out uh, this white dress it's like an off-the-shoulder moment and it's a bodycon dress but it is like midi length I don't think I can find <laughs> honestly I will try my hardest to find the links to this it is Fashion Nova but the last time I looked for it to send it to a friend I couldn't find it so anyway it's like an off-the-shoulder bodycon white dress from Fashion Nova but I wore this one to our engagement party that my in-laws hosted it was uh, oh it's stained okay that's nice that's great thought it looked really really good um, and I'm a big fan if I can find this I will link it for you down below the next dress that I got is the popular TikTok viral Zara dress. It looks like crap on the hanger, but I will <laughs> insert some more pictures. I love this dress. They didn't have my size. They didn't have an extra small, so this is a small. Um, it was a little looser on me, and I think um, if you get your size, it will fit you a lot better. But honestly, I may do with it. It's fine, and I even rewore this uh, to change into on my actual wedding day. I can't remember exactly how much it is. I feel like it's still available. It wasn't that long ago that I bought it. I want to say it was maybe around $70. Do I think it's worth $70? I don't know. I'm kind of cheap if I'm honest. The quality is like fairly nice. Material feels good, but the stitching is kind of off. So I don't know. I'd probably give that dress like a 7 out of 10 as well. Like it, it is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like it could be made a little better. This next dress I ended up wearing to the bridal shower that my my side of the family hosted for me. I really like this one. It's very simple. It's very um, standard, I think. If you were to think of a white dress to wear to a bridal celebration, this is probably something similar. It's like a slip dress. It's got a cowl neck. I got this as well from 1861. I can't remember the price. I will try and put it on the screen if I can find it. I really liked this one. I felt like this was like very modest, but also very sexy as well. Perfect dress to wear in front of your family. Really did me good. I loved her and I will continue wearing her. I brought this to uh, Mexico with us on our honeymoon and it, uh, it's great. I love this, I have no complaints. This is like a nine or 10 out of 10. It's made well, the stitching is nice. It's Canadian, Canadian company, so the shipping was like really fast. Although I do wish it was a little snug. This is a size small as well. I think that's the smallest size that was available at the time. Um, I do wish I could have gotten it in an extra small, but that's fine. Like I said, a little bit loose, it's okay. These next two dresses I bought <sighs> irresponsibly, I will say. I bought these off of AliExpress. I did not get to wear these. I just bought them, having a plan with them, and then I just never wore them. I thought I was gonna wear this to my bachelorette, that's why I bought it, or that's why I brought it, and I did pack it but uh, I didn't know what was gonna happen at my bachelorette, so I just packed literally anything. I ended up wearing that gold dress instead of this one, but it is beautiful, and if I can like lube up the zipper somehow so that it doesn't keep getting caught, then I think I could wear this somewhere else. This next dress, I really, 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 really wanted to wear this as my um, after party dress. You remember the Vizara dress that I actually changed into on the wedding day? This was actually originally supposed to be the dress that I changed into that day. It is a dupe of the CB or House of CB beautiful dress. Obviously this is not House of CB quality. This is from AliExpress as well. It's in an extra small. Now it did fit me which is great but the problem is that the slit 
really just show my hoo-ha. I do still need to somehow sew this so that it doesn't expose my crotch to the whole world because I'm sure not everybody wants to see that. However, I will say this is a beautiful dress. The quality is what you would expect. It's like Shein quality. It, it's got two layers of fabric though, so it's fairly opaque. It was probably like $15, I think, and it took like a month to get here. The second to last dress that I want to show you is my favorite. This dress is from a company that I can't even pronounce. I A Dearlina, I think is what it's called. I just bought this one. As in, I did not have it for my wedding celebrations, but I bought it because I saw somebody else wear it at her engagement shoot. And I was like, I am obsessed with that dress and I need it. So I bought it in white because it was on sale <clears throat> during Black Friday. And then I also bought it in pink and it's on the way. Anyway, the website was 70% off, so that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy this dress. Because originally, I think this dress was like $350 Canadian or something, which I was like, hello? But then it was 70% off. This is the dress. She is beautiful, beautiful. And I will say, I recommend you to size up one because I feel like I'm not familiar with this company at all, but I have a feeling that they kind of do a little bit of drop shipping. Correct me if I'm wrong and no hate. <laughs> but I feel like the sizing on this is very similar to the Shein dress or the um, the uh, AliExpress dresses where the zipper is just not the best. It's like, I was a little disappointed because this dress is expensive. Connor and I had the same problem um, with this zipper where it just would get caught. If you're, if you're not like zipping it up in a straight line, it's getting caught. The dress is beautiful, but do size up if you're planning on getting it. It is a little bit expensive though, so if your wedding is like a little bit away, I suggest waiting until sales. I think I would give that, so the quality of that dress is actually fairly nice. It's not as nice as you would expect for something that expensive, but I would give it for the quality, for the price, for, the way that it zips up, I'd probably give it like a seven and a half. The price of it is just like I was expecting more, but if you can get it 70% off, definitely worth it. The last dress that I want to talk about, I don't have it with me here because it's in storage and I really just cannot pull it out right now because it's just massive. It was the dress that I wore for our actual engagement shoot. I'm gonna put in a bunch of pictures. I'm going to put in the link. Uh, it's the, it's from the brand Selkie. I am obsessed with this, this brand. It is beautiful. It embodies everything that I want to be. I will say though, um, I did buy the princess dress. I did spend a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of money on it. Did spend a lot of money on it, okay. However, um, I think it made our pictures so beautiful. I don't regret purchasing that dress one bit. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Will I have a chance to wear this dress again? I really hope so. Um, I can envision it in my head one day, one of, one of these days in the very far future, in the next few years, okay? I said like, not now, but I could use that dress for like a maternity shoot. Cute! Um, it is this big, beautiful princess like ball gown. I think it's called the Ritz dress. It is Phenomenal. It is beautiful. The quality is amazing. I have nothing bad to say about it. It was so fun to wear, so comfy to wear. I got an extra small, fit me like a glove, zipper was nice, everything about it was... If you have a vision, you know, I think this dress is so beautiful and I was obsessed with this dress for like a long time, like months, before I actually pulled the plug and pulled the plug pulled the trigger before I pulled the trigger and actually bought it and I am so glad that I did because the pictures turned out amazing. I felt like a princess. I felt so good. I like those are memories that I'm going to keep for my entire life and I def I definitely will make an effort to pull the dress out again and wear it like like I said for a future a very very far future maternity shoot or like a birthday party bitch come to my house and dress like you're royalty because like wouldn't that be fun? Anyway, that's not about that. That's about bridal dresses. So another option, if you guys like that aesthetic, definitely look at the Selkie website. I think it's probably easier and better if you're located in the US. If you're located in Canada, the customs hurt, the shipping 
hurts. I feel like I wouldn't have paid as much money as I did if I lived in the US obviously but like yeah you will get you will get dinged on shipping for that because it is quite a heavy dress uh that dress is actually a lot heavier than my own wedding dress so yeah i hope you guys found the dress of your dreams or i hope you guys found a few ideas or a few places that you can find the dresses the dress or the dresses that you want to pick up for your own celebrations and don't forget too if you are looking for um jewelry to match your dresses please check out Anna Luisa. again my code is diane20 for 20 percent off and you can click my link in the description bar below if you would like to check them out and also support me as well so i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye Oh, and also Merry Christmas and Happy New Year if I don't see you before. But I'm hoping I see you before. But anyway, okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Gonna lose my mind. And if this life really does go on forever, I know I choose you every time. You say